about launch control, because that's one of the other changes we've made to the vehicle, which is largely driven by the powertrain. Launch control is used to get the vehicle off the line at the drag strip. We've got three elements to the launch control system now. We've introduced a new torque reserve system. We've introduced AMAX shifting in the transmission. And then we've got some unique settings for the new Quantratrack system. Let's start with torque reserve. When you're sitting at the line at the drag strip, and basically you have a, a launch speed in mind for the engine, say 2200 RPM in our case, we need air, fuel, and spark to develop that torque to hold it at 2200 RPM up against the torque converter. Of those, spark we can influence in 50 milliseconds. Fueling I can influence in 150 milliseconds. But air takes time to build momentum through the system. So there's a, a called a manifold filling delay of about 300 to 350 milliseconds typically when you crack the throttle. In torque reserve, what we do is we cut the fueling to individual cylinders and we retard spark to allow us to basically use the speed of the engine and get the air flowing through the supercharger. We can therefore develop 6.4 psi boost standing on the line. When you let your foot off the brake, that develops additional torque instantaneously for launch and results in the 11.6 quarter mile times and the 1.4 G of launch G. We couple that with our AMAX shifting. In launch control, we slow down our shifts. That may seem strange, but there's a reason for it. Typically, in a transmission, when we're making shifts, we use something called shift torque management. We instantaneously reduce the torque of the engine to allow the clutches to close more quickly. When I'm at the drag strip, I'm not so worried about making the shift quickly. I'm more concerned about maximizing the torque at the rear wheels. So in AMAX shifting, we do not cut torque at all. That results in a slightly longer shift because we have to manage the energy involved, about a 500 millisecond shift, but it produces an improved quarter mile time. Lastly, I mentioned the Quadratrack system. We had some unique settings there. Typically, the Quadratrack system is looking at various inputs from around the vehicle, throttle, your angle, your rates, things like that, to predict when we expect to see wheel slip. And then it reacts. But that prediction and reaction is all time delay. When we're at the drag strip, we're about to launch, we know what's going to happen. So we lock up the transfer case and deliver as much torque to the front wheels as we possibly can. We also lock up the rear differential um, limited slip unit to make sure that the rear wheels are essentially locked together, limit the slip between them. That results in a 50-50 torque split front to rear and maximizes our available traction.